What's up, Greg? Today we are going to be talking about the Brent Rivera controversy. Our boy has found himself in the midst of a pretty big scandal as of late, and I would like to talk about it. Most of this stuff did happen like two weeks ago. Uh, your boy is evidently extremely behind on the times and famously never knows what the heck is going on, so I apologize for being so late to this trend. Apparently, Brent Rivera found himself in like a in real life beef with another YouTuber by the name of Tyler Oliveira. They had like an in person dispute. And the craziest thing about it is, I think in some strange tangential way, it might be my fault. That's right, I might be responsible for one of the hottest YouTube beefs of 2023, Brent Rivera versus Tyler Oliveira. The Vera beef, so to speak. It all started when this dude Tyler, who is a pretty popular YouTuber in his own right, he's got 2.8 million subscribers. He posted this video called Brent Rivera called the cops on me. Basically what happens at the beginning of this video is Tyler and Brent just so happened to both be at the Stanley Hotel, which if you didn't know is like the most haunted hotel in the US. Uh, it's the hotel that The Shining is based off of. I recently did a video there. They're both at this hotel filming a video at the same time about how haunted this hotel is. And Tyler steps out of his hotel room into the hallway at the exact moment that Brent is like filming a scene, kind of a staged prank. All of Brent Rivera's videos are staged because they're for kids. They're just in the hallway filming. And from there, a beautiful beef develops. A lot of animosity between these YouTubers out of nowhere. As far as I can tell, these YouTubers have never met before. I don't think Brent even knows who Tyler is, it seems like, from this video. So it makes the immediate beef seem even more insane. But let's go ahead and watch the video and you guys can see. It all started when I was staying at the Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. What is happening? Guys, check that the video where he's pranking. Ooh. You'll see. Who are you people? What do you mean? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent? Last name? Rivera. What are you guys filming? Uh, hotel what video. video. What is this? Well, who are you guys? This is weird. We caught everyone off guard, apparently. But they caught us off guard. They almost shit our pants. This, I cannot relate to this situation at all on a social level of like peeking out into the hallway, realizing people are filming something, and then like immediately being like, all right, no, actually this is my video now. And like stepping out into the hallway and being like, what's going on here, guys? Who are you with? Who are you with? What's going on? You filming a video? Brent Rivera, introduce yourself to my video, please. This is insane, dude. I'm so shy. If I stepped out into the hallway, even if it was Brent Rivera, who I've made videos about before, I've actually met in person before, I'd probably just be like, oh, sorry. And I would just duck back into my hotel room immediately. But Tyler, I guess, sniffs this out as an opportunity to make an even more interesting video than he was gonna make in the first place. He was probably just investigating the Stanley Hotel at first, but now he's got the chance to investigate a Brent Rivera video. You know, the only thing more interesting than finding out if ghost videos are fake is finding out if Brent Rivera's videos are fake. I mean, that is definitely up for debate. So aware that I was in the middle of a fake YouTube prank, I wanted to see if Brent would admit it because we all know his videos are fake and he steals everyone's ideas. Yeah, question. Yeah. Do you fake your videos? No. Do you fake your videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Have fun, guys. Okay, so insanely awkward vibes now. They're both like so pissed at each other right away. It's like Tyler's like, they're filming a video in the hallway. Not allowed, dude. Only one influencer is allowed to film at the Stanley Hotel at a time. I gotta shut this down. So it does seem like Tyler is, in, in my view at least, like completely instigating this. Brent is catching a lot of heat for this. But I mean, if there is any beef happening here, at least right off the bat, it seems like it's it's all Tyler doing it. He just like interrupted a video shoot to do some insane investigative journalism to find out if Brent Rivera's videos are fake. So my initial reaction is like, it kind of seems like Tyler just, you know, thought this would be a good opportunity for views to fuck with Brent Rivera, which I guess it is because this situation kind of blew up. But there's, I don't think there's any reason to go up to Brent Rivera and ask him if his videos are fake. I think we all know. He could have very easily just sort of kind of like turned away and not paid him any attention like, like I have done for the past few years. With that being said though, I I would expect Brent to have like a little more humility and you know, take it a little more lightly that someone is kind of like playfully making fun of him. Like one of the first things Brent does is just be like, you're filming on an iPhone, bro? Videos. No, can you fake your videos? <laughs> no. Check out my camera. I've got a DSLR with a giant ass microphone. 
So my videos actually couldn't possibly be fake. Oh, also, I would like to add that Tyler brought up this point that Brent fakes all of his videos and also steals thumbnails from other creators. And that is kind of why he decided to go up and confront Brent, because like Brent is bad for the creator community, right? He's just stealing thumbnails and he's copying ideas. I think that Tyler also kind of does the same thing, because when I clicked on his channel, I saw this video where he goes to this clown motel, and I've seen this exact thumbnail before. So I just searched clown motel on YouTube YouTube, and yeah, I started watching this video from nine months ago where these guys go to a clown motel and it's like the exact same thumbnail, dude. You also copy thumbnails. Now to be fair though, and here's where things get a little bit deeper, Brent Rivera also copied this thumbnail seven months ago. So is Tyler copying the original thumbnail or is he copying Brent's thumbnail to get back at him for copying other people's thumbnails? I don't know, but it does seem pretty convenient that he just so happened to be copying a thumbnail from videos that got 17 million, 11 million, 15 million views. Uh, anyway, that interaction kind of breaks up. Tyler goes back to his room. Brent continues filming their video until Tyler goes to do the Stanley Hotel ghost tour, which he had scheduled for a specific time so he goes downstairs and when he gets there Brent is now filming down in that hallway and this is where things heat up even more so we go downstairs only to find oh god Brent Rivera's right there hey uh go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers right? okay if you were Brent Rivera wouldn't you be wouldn't you also think it's kind of funny the videos you make wouldn't you also be like yeah no I do get it like I I do make weird videos and they are all fake and you know it is a lot of clickbait and it's for kids I I'm acting goofy in my videos I get it for whatever reason that's what I assumed like he would be like in real life but Brent like immediately the second he sees this Tyler dude again out of the corner of his eye he gets down there stands there for one second and Brent just hey uh go have fun with your uh, hundred subscribers Go have fun with your hundred subscribers. That's the most insane insult in the world Especially for someone who makes like the weirdest content on the internet to be like sorry You're not balling like me, dude Sorry, you weren't shirtless every day on vine like me to get where I'm at right now Busting your sister's legs open on the escalator at the mall to get where I'm at. Feels like he thinks his content is like high art and anyone who dare interrupt his creative process or poke fun at it in any way is just a hater. A poor, no subscriber hater. This dude has 3 million subscribers too, by the way. I wonder how Brent felt when he found that out, when he was like, oh shit, this dude is actually... <laughs> That actually is really popular. Uh, you don't have, you don't have a direction light on my camera? And then his girlfriend starts making fun of his camera. Bunch of camera snobs on the Brent Rivera crew. <laughs> Filming on an iPhone and you don't have a directional mic, dude? What the fuck is wrong with you? Your videos must be fake. Do you think Brent Rivera doesn't know his videos are fake? Like he goes through the process of hiring actors and scripting out the whole thing, but somehow he got it in his head that if he films it on a DSLR, then that makes it all real. So the whole time he's filming, he's like, I don't know how the fuck all this crazy shit is happening, but I mean, we somehow, we got it on tape on the Sony, so it must be real, right? And then he sees like footage of tragic events taken on iPhones and he's like, that's crazy. That looks really real, but that's, it's not. <laughs> it's not, man. That shit didn't happen. Hey, we're, we're filming our thing. You yeah. film yours, okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. not, let's not be- Okay, that's reasonable. Not be disrespectful, okay? No. I don't appreciate what? the disrespect. Okay. Respect my content, dude. Respect, what is the most recent video? Brent Rivera made. Let's not be disrespectful, dude, all right? I did make extreme hot versus cold challenge after all, okay? I did make this girl is so strong no one can beat her. Please do not be disrespectful to the greatest artists of our generation. Tyler, Brent gets so stern here, dude. I've never seen him like this before. I don't appreciate what? the disrespect. Okay. It's just crazy because it's like Tyler is, at least at first he did instigate it and he did start filming them when he came down the second time. So, you know, he's being kind of a jerk, but it doesn't seem like that Crazy like he's not doing anything that crazy. He's not like throwing shit at them or anything He's just kind of like making a few jokes And I feel like if Brent had just kind of lightheartedly brushed it off and been like ha oh, that's funny man Yeah, they are fake, but you know, it's for kids then Tyler would have been like all right, all right And then and then gone and filmed his own video, but instead Tyler's like hey Brent uh, Do you fake your videos and Tyler's like shut the fuck up with your hundred subscribers and your poor person camera Get the fuck out of my hotel. Okay, so long story short they he runs into them again because they're all staying on the same 
floor. Speaking from personal experience, uh, I pretty much all of the haunted rooms at the Stanley are on the fourth floor, so they're probably all staying on the fourth floor in pretty close proximity to each other, so of course they cross paths again. Brent tells Tyler that uh, security is coming and they're gonna call the cops or something and get them kicked out. What do you mean? I'm sorry, they're gonna come and get, get you guys. They're gonna kick you out. Brent is now filming on his phone, so I guess we can't trust anything that comes from that footage. Listen, this is our personal space and you're, you're recording. This is our personal space. This hotel room is our personal space, all right? As they have the door open for him to see into. Don't look in here, this is our personal space. Get out of here, man. This whole hotel is our personal space. Eventually security comes. They tell Tyler that he, if he doesn't stop, they're gonna call the police. And then eventually they call the police and Tyler gets kicked out. So this was kind of a whole buzz on social media for a while. Tyler actually posted a clip of this on TikTok and it got 3 million likes. It was just like a one minute synopsis of everything that happened. Okay, and I was about to talk about a comment that Brent left on this TikTok, but it is gone now. It was literally there this morning, so I don't know if he deleted it or if it's just not showing it for some reason. That's so weird. Because this TikTok is from January 24th, and for some reason Brent just deleted it, or maybe Tyler deleted it? Well, it was just Brent telling Tyler to be respectful. Anyway, so both of them have made response videos since then. Brent made a response video to Tyler's TikTok. We recently saw a viral video of two YouTubers arguing in a hotel hallway. Well, one of those YouTubers was me. Well, one of those YouTubers was me, and the other one was an irrelevant nobody with less than 100 subscribers. So you should believe everything that I say. So right when I was about to pull a prank on my friends in a hotel, this guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. So, so far, it's like half true because he was not yelling. This guy came up to me yelling. He did not come out of the hallway like screaming, he, but he did basically accuse you of faking your videos. And to be fair, your videos are fake, so. And I'm not saying all my pranks are real, but this one was. We were just minding our own business. <laughs> this one was? What does that mean? Guys, all my videos are fake, but this one was real. I was finally turning a new leaf and he ruined it. Those two girls were ghosts. I was about to catch two real ghosts on camera for the first time in human history. And this, <laughs> this broke asshole ruined it. At a certain point, it bubbled up so much that I did what he wanted. I stooped down to his level and I said something that I should not have said. You know, all things considered, if Brent's bubbling up and finally having a meltdown and snapping is just saying, go have fun with your hundred subscribers, man. I mean, honestly, he handled it pretty well then. If that was if that was really him snapping, that was a pretty calm snap. To be fair though, that was only that was like the second time he saw Tyler, so it is kind of crazy that it only took that amount of time for him to completely lose control. You see a guy twice and you just like black out and go into a fit of rage. I blacked out and called this guy poor and broke and irrelevant. I don't know what happened. I support you, Brent. Whatever you said, he deserved it for real. You could have said anything to him. You could have said the most heinous shit imaginable. And I would have still supported you. I got your back, dude. Don't worry, Brent, you're good. So it looks like people are forgiving him in the comments. It is kind of interesting because you never really see Brent Rivera in like a serious setting where he has to like atone for something he did. He's usually pretty silly, goofy, wacky in his videos. So to see that kind of like cadence carry over into the way that he does this apology is kind of funny. It does kind of have the vibe of like, what's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna be apologizing for some heinous shit that I said. And then of course, like any good internet beef, you have the response video to the response video to the original video. So Tyler responded to Brent. Brent, you're a liar. Here are the receipts. Also, I'm on the toilet, so I'll be quick. These videos to make great content for you guys. And as a you don't make great content. You sexualize your friends and your sister for views in these weird love triangles. Look at this video. That's crazy, dude. Brent's like, look guys, I'm sorry about the way I acted. Like, I obviously shouldn't have said that. Um, and he does skirt a lot of the blame, don't get me wrong. It was not a perfect apology. It was not even a, a great apology. <laughs> but Tyler's like, oh yeah, well you wanna fuck your sister. Another day, another Brent Rivera L. You ate and left no crumbs. It's sad to see his comments full of his fangirls supporting him, seeing everything. The comments on these make it sound like this is like a real extreme situation that like one of them really fucked up. They just had like a bit of a special that in a hotel lobby. It's not even that crazy. It's just kind of funny. But I just love the comments being like, don't worry, dude, I believe you. Your fans got your back, man. No matter how bad it gets in the darkest of times, we'll always be there for you. It's like he was just filming a fake prank, dude. Calm down. I, like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a part of my brain that can't help but feel like this might be, in a roundabout way, my fault. Brent Rivera is known for copying titles and thumbnails, right? He's known for copying video ideas. Tyler Oliveira 
has at least copied one thumbnail. And I'm not saying this to brag or anything, but my, the video that I made about the Stanley Hotel did way better than any of my usual videos. It has like 9 million views. I actually went to YouTube on like in like an incognito tab one time, not logged into YouTube at all. And like next to a bunch of Mr. Beast videos and stuff, my Stanley Hotel was getting recommended to people. So I don't think it's that crazy to wonder if maybe one of them was inspired by my Stanley Hotel video and wanted to make a similar video. And so they ended up being there at the same time as one another. And if that's true, first off, I would like to apologize to the staff of the Stanley Hotel for having to deal with this man. You guys, I'm sure deal with the most insane shit all the time. People trying to fake haunted stuff and just probably, people probably try to summon demons in this hotel. And from my experience making the video, the staff at the Stanley Hotel was so nice. And they also did have other stories of YouTubers coming there and like breaking shit and fucking stuff up. So again, I have no idea if they saw my video and took inspiration at all because their titles and thumbnails for the video aren't copying mine. So, you know, maybe it's all just a coincidence, but you never know. Okay, so quick update. It's the next day after filming the previous portion. And I guess Brent decided that one response wasn't enough. He needed to make sure that he had the absolute last word on the situation. Yesterday, this other commentary channel, Dumby, posted this video called Brent Rivera Wants to Delete My Channel, where basically he explains that, I guess Dumpy was also covering this whole Brent Rivera controversy. I guess Brent Rivera decided to try to copyright claim Dumpy's video to try to get it like taken off of YouTube. Although Dumpy does say he's not entirely sure it was Brent Rivera because sometimes you can have like a company working for you that does this without you knowing if they're going and copyright claiming just people straight up re-uploading your videos and they, you know, sometimes will flag commentary videos. But to me, it seems like Brent is just trying to avoid all of the negative publicity from this. Which it's like, dude, there there wasn't even any to begin with. And then you go and do this, you start trying to like take down videos and give people copyright strikes. You didn't even look that bad, man. I mean, it's like, it was hardly even your fault. The other dude was instigating and a lot of people were honestly giving you the benefit of the doubt. And now you just look insane. He probably also thought this dude Dumpy had a hundred subscribers so no one would find out if he tried to take down this dude's video. Too. But he actually has 240,000 subscribers and I feel like now this is just gonna lead to even more people talking about Brent Because this is like a clear misuse of YouTube's copyright system In fact in Dumpy's video he even says that YouTube like emailed uh, him, Dumpy, to say like Hey just so you know, uh, someone's trying to get this video taken down but uh, your video's fair use so you're good We're not gonna take it down Brent, if this was you dude, don't Don't dude, just let it go Your fans are like 8 years old They don't, they're not even gonna see these videos man Let alone care They don't don't have like the nuance to even understand that someone they like could be wrong in the first place. So they're gonna be on your side no matter what. You're fine. Just keep doing you, man. Keep doing, keep, <laughs> keep doing this, buddy. You're fine. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join. Greg! That's what I call all of my subscribers, so if you want to join Greg, turn on my notifications and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye